Okay, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, thank you very much. I, it's not the end, you know, the end uh, will be Roger. You will give an, uh, 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 yeah, an introduction into the end of this conference. But uh, what uh, I feel a little bit like uh, the Minister for Social Affairs today. <laughs> and uh, because, you know, to organize a conference like this needs many people with good ideas, helping hands, a uh, room and money. But uh, when the four organization, you know, started to think about uh, collaboration, it was just um, the type of the conference we want to have. Um, and we want to follow this strategy in the next years because we think that the topics which are just in front, which are uh, um, needed uh, for do better risk assessment, should be in our hand and all of you, you know, as uh, the experts, you know, you should be able, you know, to follow our ideas as regulatory bodies. So, as you probably have seen, the four organizations, you know, they have um, at least uh, the major task for risk assessment. And uh, um, this meeting today also, or the last two days, shows you, you know, that the quality of a risk assessment is a direct function of the quality of the data. So that means, you know, the better you are in providing data, the better is a scientific advice to politicians. So I, we have heard a lot of arguments, you know, which um, brought us, you know, to new, new thoughts. And I think, you know, this is also um, one of the good things that ANDES has uh, done in the last three days. I have seen many females uh, and ma female and male uh, knights and wizards outside and some elves which uh, helps us to organize and I will ask you, you to clap your hands you know for all these organizing hands. So the, the take home message will be given by Roger Genet and uh, I think it's also is worth to listen him. So, thank you very much, Andreas. Uh, dear friends, uh, on behalf of the four organizing uh, institutions, I'm very glad uh, to close with very short uh, remarks this conference. First of all, I want to thank you all for your participation. Thank you for all the speakers uh, who gave very interesting uh, and outstanding uh, lectures uh, during this conference. You can see that we have seven keynote speakers which were uh, really, uh, uh, which gave outstanding lecture for this conference, but also uh, 30, uh, 42 uh, speakers and 33 posters uh, as a poster session. I hope that you took the time, took the time to, to discuss with all of them. And uh, we finished like um, culmination by the two uh, very interesting run table. And uh, thanks to Jürgen, uh, uh, Roundtable became uh, like a political meeting uh, <laughs> and that's exactly what we want, in fact, is to push uh, this uh, science up to the agenda, uh, to uh, the political agenda. That's exactly uh, what was the purpose of this uh, symposium. And uh, I would like also to take this moment to particularly thank uh, our colleagues who participate to the scientific committee, uh, in particular Carlos Deneke and uh, Burkhardt uh, Maloney from BFR, um, Shini uh, Likacho Roenfon uh, from DTU, um, uh, Su Huan Su from NIFDS, and uh, Michel Yves Mistou and Yannick Blanchard from ANSES. And I think, uh, due to the, uh, as regards the quality of the program, and uh, uh, I, I think we should uh, uh, applaud for them. Also, I want to thank the organizing committee, all, colleague, uh, all, all colleagues from ANSES for this uh, organization. So, um, we had, um, so I am just, yeah, um, what is really interest, so interesting is that uh, finally we were 300 people at this meeting and uh, rather 50% 
of the participants came from uh, abroad. It's very good uh, for uh, the goal of this symposium is to have a global approach to uh, a new uh, sequence uh, NGS. And when you, we look at the program and at your uh, the summary of your uh, um, speech, uh, the words, the key words come. Uh, you can look at the two main words. It's funded and ground. So yes, we need money uh, to do the, the work, but also outbreak, uh, food, WGS, Denmark for the program in Denmark, uh, data, which is a very important topic of this conference, and uh, it summarizes all the, uh, uh, of the speech. The take-home message is all we are convinced of the importance for public health protection of WGS in the area of food safety, not only food safety, because animal health, plant health, and uh, our colleagues from Santé Publique France mentioned the link between these three domains in a oneness concept is very important for us. And finally, working together for the preparation of this conference between, in an axis between Asia and uh, Europe. And I thank all my colleagues from NIFDS which, uh, who are here um, uh, today. Working together um, have, uh, has already blocked, out, uh, blocked our scientists closer and uh, hopefully uh, I think we'll uh, have new collaborations uh, that will emerge from this meeting. And as it, is, uh, as it has been said, um, we have at, uh, at the beginning to speak the same language and uh, to learn the same language, and it was very good, uh, very good thing. We also have to convince decision makers uh, that switching to these uh, techniques is of prime interest to increase traceability, but also to increase transparency and the credibility of our public health policies, and what is very important. So, the proof of concept of WGS uh, is now uh, clear, and uh, the question is the routine use for uh, reference labs of this kind of methodologies and uh, to become a method of reference, not only for reference lab at the uh, national or European uh, level of, or international level, but for all the laboratory of, uh, of prime uh, step, uh, which, which uh, uh, exerts the role of surveillance uh, in the and, uh, and also for industry. We uh, identify dynamic, active, and creative uh, commu scientific community who present here and with main uh, achievements. What are uh, how to move forward now? Uh, it's clear that we have to encourage scientific collaborations at the global level and uh, for us, European at the EU level, between uh, WGS community and also uh, risk assessment and epidemiology communities. So we have all this topic illustrated in this conference. To overcome barriers to sharing data and metadata, but I don't want to come back to the discussions just <laughs> before. And finally, to build more trust. Trust between scientists, trust between public health uh, authorities and decision makers, but we uh, just forget one very important stakeholder is trust with industry, which is of prime, uh, of prime interest. And finally, by promoting the Global Microbiome Identifier Initiative to create a global, global database to anticipate and prevent food safety crisis, but we'll have also a different initiative. So, but thank you very much, Jürgen, to be here today. So I think we uh, go on discussing these different points in the next meetings, uh, probably in the Committee of Experts of GMI at the WHO level in a few months, in the next conferences. And thank you very much uh, to all to, for, for your participation. And uh, I, uh, I hope you will have very uh, a good meeting in the future. So thank you very much.